Hello, Grunt the Zombie here with my best friend, Sheep. Say hello, Sheep. Hi. And my good buddy, Titus the Monkey. Hi, Titus. Hello. Tonight, we are going to help you learn more about compound sentences. That's right, Grub. We've talked about compound sentences before, but we wanted to talk to you again to help make it more clear. Okay, what have you got to show us tonight, Sheep? First, let's talk about what a compound sentence really is. <clears throat> a compound sentence is what you get when you combine two independent clauses. Um, I have no idea what you're talking about, dude. Uh, yeah, um, an independent clause? Is that like Santa Claus? Uh, no, 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 no. Let me see if I can make it clearer. An independent clause is a clause that can stand by itself. It's a simple sentence. An independent clause has a subject and a predicate. Um, could you give me an example? Uh, yeah, me having trouble understanding what an independent clause is. Hmm. Grog is confused. Uh, yeah, we know that. No, no, that's my example. It's a simple sentence or independent clause. The subject is grog. The predicate is confused. Oh, okay. So grog is confused is an independent clause. I'm confused too. That would also be an independent clause. Uh, what? No, 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 listen. A compound sentence is when you take two sentences and you put them together to make one sentence. Like, Grog is confused. Titus is confused. Those are simple sentences or independent clauses. Um, alright. Very good, Grog. You're catching on quick tonight. Uh, yeah, you good teacher. Let's keep going and talk about compound sentences. Well, when you're creating a compound sentence, you take two independent clauses and put them together. One way to combine the two independent clauses is with a comma and a conjunction. Let's try and do that tonight. Titus, you've agreed to help. Um, that's right. I'm going to let you into my personal life and tell you a little bit about one of my good friends and what we like to do with our spare time, and we'll make that into a compound sentence. Um, I'm a little worried. Uh, yeah, me too. I don't know if I want to get personal with Titus the monkey, but Sheep, let me ask you something. If you got a good simple sentence and another good simple sentence, why you need to make compound? That's a great question, Grog. When you make your sentences compound, sometimes it helps the reader read it more smoothly and helps your writing flow. Uh, that's a little weird. No, 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 that makes sense, because, like, Grog is confused. Grog is mad. Grog is zombie. You could, make, you know, combine them, like, Grog is confused and mad, and it's smooth and flows better. So when you combine short, simple sentences, it makes your writing more clear and smooth and flow. Whoa, Grog. You are on the ball tonight. Oh yeah, gold star for you there, buddy. Okay, Titus, are you ready to share with us your example of how to make a compound sentence? Yeah, sure am. Go to the next slide. <clears throat> wow. Chipotle Mexican Grill. Oprah. Hello! Ah, uh, hey, Oprah. Oh, hi, Titus. All right. Look, over here are two simple sentences. Work your magic, sheep. Um, okay. Oprah and Titus love Chipotle. Oprah and Titus eat there all the time. Those are two really good simple sentences, and it's true. We love Chipotle Mexican Grill. Oh, yeah. The best burritos in the world. Um, wow. I'm a little overwhelmed. Oprah's here. Okay. Those are two simple sentences. Now, if we want to make them compound, we could join them together with a comma and a conjunction. Let's see if we can make that happen. All right, let me rearrange this here, put this over here. Wow, you're really smart. Okay, I'm ready. <clears throat> Oprah and Titus love Chipotle, so they eat there all the time. We've made it into a compound sentence, Titus. Whoa, that's really good. See, we added a comma and a conjunction, and now the sentence is combined to one compound sentence. It's smooth and flows when you read it. Oprah and Titus love Chipotle, so they eat there all the time. Wow, that's really good. That's amazing. Well, I I'm glad you both really enjoyed it. Let's review now that we're through. Whoa, hello, Oprah. Oh, hi, Grog. Um, what you doing here? Well, now that we're through, we're going to review. A compound sentence is what you get when you combine two independent clauses. 
That's right. And independent clauses are, um, those are sentences that can stand by themselves, like, Grog is a zombie. Very good, Grog. We make compound sentences to make our writing smooth and flow better for the reader. Too many short, simple sentences are choppy and hard to read. And one way to combine two sentences into compound is to, um, um... To add a comma or a conjunction. Wow, Oprah, you're really smart, too. You, you must have done this before. I love writing. Mm-hmm. Let's go get some more Chipotle. Yeah, yeah, let's get out of here. Y- you guys have fun. Thanks for joining us and learning about compound sentences. Yeah, me see you next time.